This week, I'm tracking how I spend every minute of my life. Hmm. Yeah, four seconds. Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great day. So I always talk about living intentionally and how we should be spending our time doing the things that we love to do. And now it's time to see if I'm putting my money where my mouth is by tracking every minute of my life and sharing the results with you. I am really, really excited to do this experiment and it's the first of many self experiments that I wanna undertake and I can't wait to share this journey with you. So without any further ado, it is Monday the 22nd of April at 3.35 p.m. And let's jump straight into it. I really hope you enjoy. So for this experiment, I downloaded the app A Tracker, and so far I'm finding it really easy to use. And I like that it shows your results in different ways depending on how you want to view your data. So there are a few different reasons as to why I wanted to undertake this experiment, but the main one is this. I want to be a creator, which means I need to be spending most of my time creating. But in a world where we are inundated with consumption, I find myself consuming more than I should. So I wanted to see how much time I'm spending creating versus consuming. Another reason is that I know I tend to switch from task to task a lot, which is definitely something that I want to improve upon. And finally, I want to generally become more aware of where my time is going, if I'm truly spending it wisely, and if it's aligning with my values. Okay, so today was supposed to be an editing day, um, but a last minute meeting just got finalized that I really cannot avoid. Um, this is a pretty good opportunity for me. So I have to drop what I'm doing, put editing to the side for a bit today. It throws a bit of a spanner in the works for the day, but this is just my life and I am grateful for these opportunities. Um, but I guess it's all just about making sure that I am planning and leaving buffer room for things, which thankfully I have for this edit. Um, so everything should be okay. So I'm in this habit of task switching. I sit down to do some work, but as soon as something else comes up, I naturally switch to that task and come back to the first one later. And even though this meeting was completely out of my control, it's still a good example of how something can come up which results in task switching. Which is why I've discovered it's important for me to plan more. I am currently in a good habit of setting myself a to-do list each day and spending my day intentionally getting those tasks done. But I could be more effective. I could block out time in the day for specific projects or tasks that require a similar mindset. Such as grouping together all video creation tasks rather than doing lots of smaller sessions throughout the day. And sure, it may take me an extra minute or two at the start of my day to plan more, but it's ultimately going to save me so much more time than if I was going to spend my day switching between tasks. I've just really realized how easy it is to be stuck in that consuming mindset rather than creating because I want to, you know, I want to call myself a creator. Um, I don't want to be a consumer, so therefore I need to be putting more time into creation rather than consumption. But it's so much easier to consume rather than create because creating involves like emotion and your mind and you have to you have to think so much and so deeply and really plan things out or figure out why you want to create it and what its meaning is and how it can serve you and serve others whereas consumption you get to forget about everything and just switch off and relax and I think at least for me I mean this is getting like deeper now I feel like because we have so much access to so many things to consume, it's so easy to switch off and just to get out of our heads. And it's, you know, it's bigger than just creating versus consuming. It's that we're not, we're not giving ourselves the time and space and opportunity to think through our emotions and why we're feeling this way. You know, it's who wants to at the end of a, long bad day sit there and think about how they're feeling and why they feel that way and 
reflect on that. No, people just people just want to sit down and forget about it. And my God, I've done that so many times. And you know, you don't wake up feeling better the next day. You often often wake up feeling worse. So it's really interesting just looking to see how hard it is to create versus how easy it is to just consume. And so I think after this experiment is done, I'd really like to lessen my consumption, but also really be a lot more mindful and conscious of what I am consuming and making sure that it is benefiting me and not just shutting my mind off in an unproductive way. Um, because I'm all for shutting my mind off. That's how I find it easy to get to sleep at night to kind of, you know, wind my brain down and stop thinking about, stop, stop having it run a million miles an hour. But I think it's important to consciously shut our minds down with, you know, conscious consumption rather than trying to switch our emotions and feelings off with our mind. Um, through unconscious binges of consumption. Yeah, that, that's something for me to think, think and ponder more. So I tracked every minute of my life for seven days and it was really enlightening. Overall, I spent 32 hours and 14 minutes creating and 23 hours and 45 minutes consuming. To calculate this, for the creation section, I added up all the video creation and K-Girl production time. And for consumption, I added my entertainment, podcast and social media for the week. So I'm pretty happy with these results. Overall, I did create more than I consumed, but looking at that figure altogether is very confronting. Um, that's 15 minutes off an entire day I spent consuming, which just still seems like way too much for me. So now that I'm more aware of this, I will definitely try and get my entertainment down a lot, um, or at least find more productive ways to spend my downtime, such as reading. As for my other goals of this experiment, I think the fact that I was tracking my time made me much less inclined to switch between tasks, which I really liked and definitely saw the benefits of this week. I had such a productive week. And it's actually really interesting to see where my time is going. Upon reflection of the week, I believe I can definitely spend more time working on K-Girl productions and less time in the mindless entertainment section. Overall, it was pretty crazy and honestly a little excessive to track every minute of my life for a week. But in saying that, I would definitely recommend it. I think the value that I found in this experiment far outweighs any of its excessiveness. And I would definitely consider doing this again or for a longer amount of time. Overall, I had one of the most productive, positive and enjoyable weeks that I've had in a long time. Maybe it was because I wasn't procrastinating because the app was holding me accountable, but I felt so positive and relaxed for almost the entire week. And yeah, it's always gonna be easier to consume over creating. But I found this week that by pushing through the temptation to procrastinate and instead work on the things that I knew I needed to do and create more, I found that I was so much happier and so fulfilled. I just, I can't even explain the drastic effect just tracking my time had on me this week. And long-term benefits from this, I really believe I will think twice, three times before procrastinating in the future. So that wraps this video up. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun doing this experiment this week and if you're struggling to manage your time 
or just don't feel like you have enough hours in the day, I would definitely encourage you to do this experiment. It's incredibly liberating to see where your time is going and really makes you question your priorities. So if you did like this video, please let me know by giving me a big thumbs up and I will be uploading more videos like this as I undertake more experiments to enhance my quality of life and an attempt to live a more intentional and grateful life. I upload new videos every Thursday and I really can't wait to see you on the next one. Bye. Stopwatch, everybody. He's tough.